Here's some interesting facts. Did you know that divorce is on the decline here in the US? Astounding, right? Do you remember when it was 50 to 60% in the 20th century? People are choosing differently now and we're getting smarter. We're not only marrying later in life, but we're marrying when we're more financially secure and therefore it is now down to about 35%. People know themselves more when they're older, when they've had time to go through their first relationships, they're no longer impulsive, they're not basing it on chemistry and simply attraction, but they're thinking in the long run, who is my best choice to be by my side? And marriages are on the decline. But wait, it's not what you think. I didn't say partnership is on the decline. I said marriages are on the decline. Traditional marriages as we would have understood them in the 20th century. Individuals are still coupling, but they are doing it differently. What I call a la carte. They are taking the time to look at who they are, what they want, and figuring out how do I best present this information to my prospective partner and create design co-create with my partner a vehicle to support the love that we share. What will it look like? Not what's on the menu, but let me alter it. So there are lat marriages, more and more people are independent, and as they marry, as they're getting older, they don't want to give up their home. I like living by myself. You live in your home, I live in my home. We are definitely together. We are a committed couple. It's called a lat marriage or a lat partnership. We live apart, but we are together. And for many people that want to retain their independence and their sovereignty, but want a committed partner, this is a viable option. People are more financially secure later in life. And so they are entering partnerships where they are no longer dependent upon their partner to provide for them and having things like mortgage and children keeping them coupled, therefore the declining divorce rate. So there are more kinds of relationships that are being crafted and many people are choosing to live together, cohabitate, create partnerships that are indeed valid and loving, but outside of the marriage construct. So the good news is we're learning. We're getting smart at how to keep our love alive and how to create a vehicle to contain the love that we want to share with our partner. Thanks everyone, Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. And if you wanna know how to create your own design, chat me up, take a consultation, because I talk about love a la carte, finding the right design for your disposition and your needs.